Hello everyone, my name is Where We Don't Care My Name Is, and here we go with my review for the remake of Child's Play. Alright, so before this film came out, there were fans of Child's Play who were not happy with this film coming out because it was not going to have any Charles Lee Ray. This was not going to have a possessed doll by an evil spirit of a serial killer. This was going to be in a whole different story. And after I read what the story was going to be about, I liked it. It's a nice change of pace, and in the generation we live now, I feel like this would feel more realistic than a doll being possessed by a spirit, an evil spirit. So I thought this is this is different, but it still works. It still works with what we have, what we rely on today. So I thought this is fine. All right. So what's the story about? So the story uh, focuses on our main character Andy, who moves out of his apartment with his mom, and he's a bit of a loner. He isn't sure how to make friends. His mom's staying a jerk, and he's all alone, so, yeah, so his mom decides to get him a present for his birthday a little earlier than expected, but she got him a gift, and that gift is a buddy doll. Not a good guy doll, a buddy doll with an eye at the end, eh, see? So, the doll, uh, she got it from her store, and the doll is called Chucky, and at first, he seems, you know, damaged, and... Andy doesn't know what to do with him, but after a while, Andy, you know, grows accustomed to him, and the two of them seem to interact and hit it off with each other, until, yeah, things start to go wrong, and Chucky starts to go a little crazy. So, Andy now has to stop Chucky before he ends up killing everyone he loves and cares about. So, if you, if you listen to that very carefully, then you know where this, what the story is, then. It's a obsessed person doing whatever they can to get the person they love all to themselves, even if it means killing everyone that gets in their way. That's pretty much the story. We see Chucky grows very attached to Andy and will do whatever it takes to keep him safe and keep him to himself. That is probably less creepy than the last film, but I still like the story. I like how it doesn't rush to the killings or anything. It actually takes its time. It takes its time with Andy, you know, with with Chucky, and Chucky not understanding how things work because he's damaged. He's not. Uh, he was damaged when he was made, and uh, so he isn't like functioning well as the other uh, buddy dolls would. And so Andy has to, you know, teach him like what not to do, some of the things you can do, some of the things you can't do. But things go wrong along the way, and we see Chucky slowly transform to this the killer doll we know and love, and it's done very well. I like how well it's done. Now, it's not perfectly done well. It There are some flaws with it, and you know how it's all going to go, but I still like it. I like the suspense we get from this film, where we see Chucky using technology to pretty much help him in his killing ways, and I thought that's very unique. I love that in the story, where... We see this uh, the buddy dolls are able to control a lot of the uh, electronics that are come from the company that the buddy dolls are made from. So I thought that's that's very scary, but at the same time, it's very cool. I thought that's that is something I have not seen from other uh, Child's Play films. So it's very it's done well. It's very unique, and I like it. Uh, again, you know how it's gonna go, so it is kind of predictable. There are some corny moments here and there, but I still thought it was fine, and it does take its time to where we see Chucky go from this naive doll to the crazy murderous doll we have now, and I love the characters we got in this film. I love uh, the kid who they got to play as Andy. I know some people like the original Andy, but I kind of like this new Andy because, you know, he's a little older, and he, you know, he's trying to, you know, trying to make sure Chucky does the right thing, but things don't go well, and so nobody believes the teenager kid. And then again, no one believed the little boy either about Chucky killing people, so it does work. Uh, but I love his interaction with Chucky. The two of them do start off with some very good chemistry, and when Chucky does go crazy, it gets better. Mark Hamill as Chucky, I gotta say, I love him so much, especially when he does the lab. I'm thinking to myself, this works. This works. I love him. It's the combination of Joker and Chucky. It's Chuckers. Oh my god, Chuckers trying to kill people. But 
<laughs> Sorry. But I still liked it. I love I, I love Mark Hamill's joke as uh, Chucky. I love uh, the kid uh, Gabriel Bateman as Andy. I love the other characters too. I love uh, the mother as well in this film. I love the Brian Tyree Henry as Detective Mike Norris. And I love the, the kids who are friends with Andy as well. So they're all great characters. I like them all. And they're very memorable. I And yeah, the... Uh, the boyfriend who is in this film, yeah, he does end up getting killed, so that's a small spoiler there. Uh, but then again, Chucky does end up killing a lot of people who end up turn out to being bad people. Hmm. Who knew? Uh, okay, what about the suspense, the fear, how the doll works with the special effects and everything? How is that? Well, like I said, I love the suspense in this film. It does take its time, although there are times in the suspense it does take way too long to get to the jump scare but it's not like oh, oh my god there's so many jump scares no it's actually just maybe one or two a few jump scares but not too many back to back to back it actually does take its time so i like that there is some legit there are some good fear moments in this film uh so i liked it a lot so they do a good job with it the doll the chucky doll i love it i love how it looks it's creepy as hell but i liked it and especially when his eyes start glowing red from blue to red. I'm like, damn, that is creepy as hell. And I love how it's able to control everything, um, all the technology as well, uh, through ET logic. It's, <laughs> can you believe that? Um, okay, so with that being said, it sounds like this is a good film then, right? Yes, I like the story for this film. It does have its flaws, but it's still good. I love the characters in this film. Uh, more particularly with Andy and Chucky, they're probably the favorites of the film. And I love the suspense, the thrill, and of course, the doll as well. And I love how they showed us how they had different versions of Chucky for this film, which is done very well. There are times when the special effects can be flawed, but it's still fine. So, Child's Play, is it a good remake to the original? Pff, yes, and probably better than the original. So, I'll give it that. And hopefully it does made back a lot of money so that way they can make another one and i hope they do because from the looks of how things went and after seeing how looper explained how this film ended i'm like you know what that can work that can actually work so that's it guys if you have a different opinion about this film or any of the child play films leave some comments below and let me know what you think hit the subscribe button check out my favorite page check out my twitter page and i'll see you all next time to give you more love and more entertainment so until then take care and i'll see you next time guys